Hi, Jill Tisbury here from Fired Glass again um, with another video in our little technique series. Um, and this time we're going to talk about cutting glass. Um, more specifically, we're going to talk about cutting glass for one of these moulds, um, which is a, a metal uh, mould, which we use quite a lot in our work. And uh, it's a wave mould. Gives you a really, really um, cool shape when it's done. So um, where we're going to start with this is by measuring the mould because the mould itself is going to give you obviously the size that your base glass needs to be. So when you look at one of these you're going to need a uh, flexible tape measure. So you could measure from here to here and we get quite a lot of questions about you know what's how should I measure this, what size should the glass be for this and if you measure from here to here what you're going to get is 30 centimeters. Now that's great but if you did that you would get quite a short piece um, for your mold. If you measured from here to here and let it drape into the mold like I'm doing here in the same way that your glass would drape into the mold then you can see we're just short of 34 centimeters so we're um, 33.8 centimetres. Um, so quite a, a difference um, between the two measurements there. So I am going to cut this piece of glass to fit this mould and I'm got, probably going to do it about 33 centimetres um, just so we've got a little bit of a, a leeway for it to slump there. So this um, is a metal mould, um, as I've said, it's coated with boron nitride, as you can probably see, because it's all over my hands. Um, so we've got another video um, in the techniques series that you might be interested in after this as well, which is how to prep your moulds. This one, as you can see, um, it probably you get away with another firing on it. But to be honest, um, before I use it again, I'm actually going to um, scrub this off and recoat it. So boron nitride is what you need on these. I'm going to put that to one side and just um, rub my hands for a minute. So I've got my glass here. Uh, this is my base glass. is a uh, Tector from Bullseye and it's three millimetres thick. The reason I'm going to use um, clear glass, I tend to use clear glass on a lot of um, our products, um, is simply because of the options that you've got. You can change the background, you can put lots of different powders on there to create different colours or you can leave it clear. Um, so I quite like using that. It's not We don't use it solely but um, it's one of my favourite things to do. So when you lift this glass up and you feel this glass, um, on the one side if I run my fingernails you can hardly hear anything and on the other side you can hear so this side is, whoo, <laughs> this side is rough and it's probably scratched a bit now um, and this side is smooth um, the smooth side upwards is the side I'm going to cut on Let's square this back up again so I've got a cutting mat here which I like to cut on um, it's one of those self healing mats um, and it's got um, different types of measurements. It's got inches, it's got centimetres, and so different grids on there. So I'm just squaring this up before I cut. So I've got smooth side uppermost. I'm just going to retrieve my cutter. There we go. Um, and the reason I've got the smooth side uppermost is it's obviously easier to cut on that rather than going up and down all those ridges on the rough side. And you get a much smoother cut that way. So what we're going to cut with. Um, I got two cutters. This one is um, a Toyo uh, straight pen type cutter. Um, I, have to, I don't know why, it's not my favourite. <laughs> my favourite is this. This is the pistol grip type. I just find them easier to use. Um, and when students come into the workshop, they tend to find these easier to use as well. These are particularly useful if you have grip problems um, or dexterity problems. You probably find that this would be the, the better type for you anyway. So both of these, if you can see that as I move it, have oil in them. Um, I must admit, I don't normally work with oil in these. I've put them in to show you today. But what I like to do, uh, it's a good tip as well, is to actually use one of these. 
So this is, um, I'm not sure what was in this, it was probably a chocolate orange mousse or something, but um, yoghurt pots, things like that, they never go to waste in our house. Um, it's got a cotton wool pad on the bottom, and what I tend to do with this is get some uh, cutting oil, so you, it's easy, um, easily available at most um, suppliers. Um, or if you buy cutters, um, I just bought some of these from Tensford Glass, um, and they very kindly gave me some free oil, which is why it says free oil on there. So take a little dipper, grab yourself some oil. So we might as well add some into this while we're at it. So just a little bit of oil and just drip it into here. And that's going to last me, um, you know, for the next couple of weeks on there. Let's pop that away. And then all I simply do um, is dip my cutter into that and I, that helps me to oil the wheel. Sometimes if I'm doing um, circular cuts, which is a different video entirely, um, I'll actually oil the glass. So I'll take the cotton wool pad out of here and wipe it onto the glass. So you can do that as well. That's absolutely no problem. So that's cool. Once you've got your oil, either way you want to use oil on your glass. The reason you want to use oil is gives you um, a better cut and it stops the little splintering as well um, so um, it helps the the run to go smoothly on your glass when you use your running pliers and it stops all those little splinters coming off on there so uh, that one or that one is the one to go with those are the only two we've got in our studio you've got a little brass uh, nut on the end of here and you need to loosen that just if you don't loosen it then the oil's not going to flow so uh, need to loosen it a little bit just to let the oil flow um, that's also useful for tapping the glass if you've got um, some sort of curvy um, cut that you've done you may want to turn it over rather than use running pliers and tap it um, to break it so this is the one we're going to use then so I've got my um, piece of glass here um, for this particular mould, we talked about um, the length of it. I was going to do 33 centimetres. And then the width of it, or the height of it, top to bottom, whichever way you want to talk about it, that is 12 and a half centimetres. So what I've done here is actually marked a line so that you can see um, where I'm going with this. I've got my straight edge. I guess ideally um, a metal straight edge would be good. I, to be honest, this is a ruler I've had for a long long time a um, bit battered and, and worn but it works really well but it's a ruler with um, a chamfer on it and the reason I choose that is that if we turn this that way up with the chamfer downwards it raises the cutting edge and it allows me to butt up against it with the cutter and make sure that I'm in the right place to cut so the other thing um, when you are cutting, um, notice that the blade on the cutter is about three millimetres from the edge. Obviously it's in the centre of the cutting head, which is about three millimetres from the edge of it. So when I butt up against this, what I need to make sure of is that I leave enough space or enough clearance if I'm going um, on a specifically measured line, um, enough space to be able to make sure my blade's in the right place. So I have done, I've moved that slightly. I'm going to start from the top. You could quite as easily start from the bottom and just gentle, even pressure. So no rush, go straight the way down. I'm just going to tighten that up so it doesn't run out. And then um, you can break the glass. So to break the glass, very simple. I use these um, because we have lots of them around the studio quite simple you just pick up the glass so where your score will be you can't see it because of my sharpie line here but the score is right down here and if you click on that you can see I'm going to get the nose of these um, running pliers right on the line right on the center and that's going to put pressure either side because this is a, a slight arch if you can see that slight pressure And you probably saw that run all the way along there but nice cleanly and smoothly and that's my long piece of glass cut 
so it's obviously too long so we need to um, chop that down so I'm going to get rid of this put this out of the way and we'll come back and, uh, and shorten this down to the length that we want okay so got my um, piece here we said that we were doing 33 centimeters so I'm gonna oh look there you go I'm gonna measure along to there and it's actually this cutting line here so let's put that on there get my cutter on the edge as I said, even, not too much pressure, just nice and even. If you do stop and start, especially if you're doing a curved line, where you stop, it can encourage the glass to break off at that point. Um, with a straight line, it's not so bad. So, running pliers on the score again. There you go. Nice and easy to do. You can break it um, with your, your hands if you want as well, but... I just thought we'd show you how to use running pliers. Um, and this piece here that's um, come off the end, um, nothing ever goes to waste in glass, as you uh, know, because you're a glass fuser. Um, so we could chop that up. We could make little um, uh, window hangers with that um, or light catchers. Or we could use, just use it as it is and use light catchers with perhaps some um, either holes in it or some glass um, hangers on there. But no doubt, subject of a future video. Okay, so put that to one side. We've cut our piece, and if you balance it on there, at the moment looks really long, but remember it's got to slump into there and it's got to slump over here. What I will do is show you in a future video how we actually set this up so that it slumps properly without it um, slipping and sliding all over this type of mould. Um, so good to go. All I need to do now is um, clean this and I can get on with my project. So I hope that's been useful. Hope you've picked up maybe a, a couple of tips. If you've got any more tips for um, cutting glass or some um, ideas that you've picked up along the way, that would be fantastic for you to comment. Um, please subscribe because we've got more videos um, with tips, techniques, and also some longer project videos. Um, so give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Give us some comments, tell us what you thought. And if there's other videos you'd like to see, let us know. So that's it for today and see you on the next video. Thanks.